The SAF is providing these short tutorials to assist SHRIMP subscribers. These are companion pieces to the SHRIMP 4.0 user guide that can be found on the SAF webpage and within the SHRIMP tool. Today, we're gonna to walk you through starting a new assessment. Once you've logged into your SHRIMP tool, you'll see a navigation pane across the top. Your systems, assessments, documents, user guide, and change log. For those of you that had a SHRIMP plan finalized in SHRIMP 3.0 in the past five years, you'll see your system listed here. For those of you either utilizing SHRIMP for the very first time or a legacy user of SHRIMP pre-2017, you'll need to create a new system and fill out all of the system information and asset information, much of which is pulled off of your FIMSA 7100 report. Once that information has either been verified via the Manage button or inputted new via the New Assessment button, you can then navigate to your Assessments view. Again, those of you that finalized a SHRIMP assessment in SHRIMP 3.0 in the past five years are welcome to click the Manage button. If you do not have an assessment that was imported, you'll need to create a new assessment. Those of you managing your SHRIMP 3 assessment or reassessing your distribution integrity management plan, you'll be brought to this screen. You can then navigate to the bottom of the screen and click copy assessment. What this button does is for those that are updating their SHRIMP 3.0 assessment, the tool has brought over some of the information from SHRIMP 3.0, such as your system asset information, and some high-level information. SHRIMP 4.0 was unable to bring over all of the legacy data that was stored in SHRIMP, including leak history data. You'll need to pull that information off of either your system of record or past DIMP reports. Once you've done that, you can then begin your assessment. As always, if you have any questions, please contact app support at apgasif.org.